Hello, the, this is not a spring chicken news, it still continues. This is the overkill of Whitney Houston's funeral and burial. And now this is kind of strange, it's yesterday was the public funeral, today is the private burial. Wow, kind of interesting. Hmm. Well for now we're going to bring old Kemal with comments on the headlines of today. An Obama budget dead with both parties. I love that one. The Democrats. Only thing the Democrats can find that they think that they like is taxing the wealthy. The problem is, is they can't run on continued spending. And Obama's budget raises spending by like 35% again. Oh, really? Yeah. But he's going to pay for it by taxes on the rich, which only amounts to about 1% of his budget. <laughs> I love that. And John Glenn Fever grips the U.S. ahead of 50th anniversary. I know it's ridiculous. Oh, there went three. Uh, they, there went three of them this time. So somebody did something really nasty over there. But no, we we got people from another neighborhood, the police departments. But John Glenn, they're celebrating his uh, circling the earth. I think. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. And huge prison fire kills over 350 inmates. <laughs> that's in that's. And I heard what they said. That's what they're reporting. Not exactly how many people were killed. This is what happens when, in a prison, they decide that they're going to teach people a lesson and set fire to where they're at, knowing they can't get out. Mm -hmm. That's never a bright thing to do, but people, um, you know, a lot of people in prison, well, we're going to burn this place to the ground, they have to let us out. They gently don't. Stevie Wonder and Kevin Costner give touching remembrances of Whitney Houston. Yeah, I remember little Stevie Wonder when he was little Stevie Wonder. <laughs> now I sort of chub at Stevie Wonder, massive talent. Kevin Costner, we've also, we've met Kevin Costner, who's actually a really super nice guy. Mm -hmm. And he showed it yesterday at the funeral, how nice a person he is. That's his big problem. He is actually too nice to be in the business, and they sort of take advantage of him. He is. He's just genuinely very nice, and he's got, what, four Academy Awards? Yes, I mean, uh, for all yeah. kinds. He did one, three of them on the, well, actually all four of them on the same picture. Oh, was it on Dan? Remember, he had no money, so he was doing every. He he started it, produced it, he directed it, he financed it. Well, it's not that type of movie is not normally a movie that you know a lot of people want to jump up and well, go the finance. The problem is, is he makes good, quirky, big budget movies. He does. And eventually, they'll all be huge standards. But it's going to be like, he, what is going to happen? He's going to end up like um. Burt Lancaster used to say that when I'm dead, there'll be a time when no one remembers who Burt Lancaster is, but they'll remember the movies that Burt Lancaster was in, and it's going to be Kevin Costner, because if you look at some of the things that he has done that are epics... Yeah, they are really are epics. Yeah. Stepbrother charged with sexual abuse in Wisconsin teen. I know. How do you sit there and abuse somebody for years and nobody knew about it? Actually, the police thought that the, I love this. They thought that the girl that was being abused was the the dangerous person ah. because the parents told her that, even though they'd had reports from neighbors what was going on, they ignored the girl's reports and listened to the parents. And then the, what's funny is the kid had already been previously charged with abusing a 13-year-old, and they let him off the hook on that one also with telling him not to do it anymore. And House passes Keystone Bill, Senate action uncertain. Well, they're not going to pass in the Senate uh, because, um, okay, they have to have, um, they're, what it, they're going to let the Senate have a simple majority to pass the bill in order that the senators that are basically um, running for office in the Democratic Party that are in really dangerous positions can vote to support the bill. But the Republicans, unfortunately, have, uh, you have, uh, Scott Brown, Susan Collins, and Olympia Snow, that always vote to spend money, and they'll vote against it. So what happens is you can only get 49 votes. The Democrats will still have 51, Republicans 49. If it is 50, Biden will simply cancel it. So it's a, it's a gimme that it won't go anywhere, even though they, they know the guy is basically talking to the Chinese full time. But the Chinese government's going to actually pay for the pipeline. We in the United States would be paying for the pipeline here. China will pay to have the pipeline constructed to Vancouver to go to China. And water and gas continue flowing from Alaska blowout. This one, this one I don't understand for days. You know, I, you know, I don't know if it, we can see it back there. See, folks, when you're running, you know how you stop it? Mm. That's how you stop it from flowing. You turn it off. Uh, but somebody in Alaska hasn't dreamed up, well, how do we handle this? Oh, and then they have to go to a you know, kid kindergarten, and the kid kindergarten kid walks up. Oh, it stopped! 
And why Michigan is Mitt Romney's D-Day? Uh, because Romney is expected to lose Michigan to Santorum. This is a I mean, they, um, some of the Republican pundits said, if he loses Michigan, it doesn't make any difference how much they want him to be that. He's, he actually lost the main caucus. When they got done doing a recount, he lost the caucus again because the recounts basically are, uh, go against him. But there shouldn't be a recount in a caucus if you're calling for a recount. They said some of the people, votes weren't counted again. Isn't that amazing? Mm -hmm. They said, well, you didn't get it in in time. They said there was a blizzard and it doesn't make any difference. If we cast the votes. The votes have to be cast. That They have to be counted. That's the law. Well, you understand if you do that, Mitt Romney will be unhappy. And the Republican leadership, well, they counted the votes, and Mitt Romney is unhappy. The last time I looked, they think, I, I think Ron Paul beat him by about 47 votes. An underwear bomber proud to kill in the name of God. I know, I thought that sort of ridiculous. God does not approve of people killing in their name. No God approves of you killing in their name. Oh, really? I mean, okay, okay, okay. It is, in reality, the Muslim religion is a religion of peace. It is a religion of a, you know, basically where you assimilate people, but you, the problem is the people doing the assimilation only do it with a, a sledgehammer. And the U.S. won't allow more fungicide in orange juice. I know, we've talked about that one. It's, 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 it's a low, snow, low, low news day, folks. It's because of the fact that we shouldn't have any fungicide in the juice to begin with. I mean, I know. You know, it's only supposed to get on the outside of the, of the, oranges and stuff, and somehow it's seeping in. I mean, you've got to dip those oranges and stuff in order for it to get into the system. And conservative commentator Pat Buchanan out at MSNBC. Well, because he made a mistake of, of, uh, of, of using the First Amendment of the Constitution, which you can't use. He said that, you know, he said what liberals have been saying, that the Latin Americans are going to overtake everybody else and be in a majority in about 20 years in our country. He had the, he had the nerve to say that that was happening and that was a no-no. And Aussie Airline goes under and 4,000 passengers stranded. I know, isn't that something? And they went under because they couldn't pay the fuel bills. Because the, I, when we had Bill O'Reilly, well, how can the world be a flush in oil and the price is going up because the Chinese are buying all the oil? Mm-hmm. And airlines had high fuel costs as they raise fares. That's right, because they're getting killed on it. Because, um, uh, okay, Obama won't allow anything to be done in our country because nothing is being done in our country, and we are the largest. We are we have the largest fields in the world, and he will not let them be used. So guess what that does to prices? Mm-hmm. And CNN cancels GOP debate after Romney and Paul drop out. Well, yeah, because uh, Romney is the one that they want to hear. They don't want to hear anybody else. So a bunch. So if Romney's not going to see Romney doesn't want to do it because Romney can't answer any more questions. I mean, you're going to look. He's going to try to avoid every debate he can have now because Romney cares yet. I mean, the guy basically he, they got a video of him kicking his own dog. And a woman gets into an accident while texting on live TV technology. I know they did a good one. <laughs> Uh -huh. I mean, isn't that brilliant? It's like the woman that bends over. Was she and, driving at the same time? Yeah. She was driving while she was toying, showing you how to how you can text, uh, which is basically against the law in most states, but that's the way it works. Oh, wait a minute. Was there a cameraman and she was yeah. doing... Uh, she was doing live texting on, on, a, on a live television show, uh -huh. showing you how easy it is to text. Well, not when you're driving. Yeah, I think she's kind of showing Because it. I think texting, deaths while texting have now exceeded deaths while drinking. Ah. Which is why they're wanting to ban cell phones. They're going to ban, they're gonna, when you get into a car, they're going to require you to turn your cell phones off very shortly in most of the states. I know, what happened to navigation? Well, they're, being, they're already saying navigation is gone. That's, that's I know, that's about. the pain in the butt, is I like the navigation in the car. Yeah, unless you're in an area where it takes you right back to where you came from, which we actually did that once. Yeah, that was a few years ago. We did a two and a half hour circle to get back to Boris. And then we wouldn't use any navigation for years. Yeah. But it told us that we just started again. We yeah. Did, we discovered something about navigation. In some places, the navigation does not work whatsoever. And secret $1 million gold stash discovered in French rafters. Yeah, well, $1 million. <laughs> that, that, that's sort of how, how do you, I mean, that's got, that weighs a lot, folks. And a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. 
that you can be a, you can win a beauty pageant at any age in all your life as long as you don't tell people how old you actually are. <laughs>